whether by a generous act or a beautiful song. To have played with enthusiasm, laughed with exuberance, and sung with exaltation. To go down to dust and dreams, knowing that the world is a wee bit better, that even a single life breathes easier because we have lived well. This is to have succeeded. Today we celebrate one who has succeeded, who did all this and more. To Ron and to all he brought into this world, to all he stood for, we dedicate this service of memory and hope. And I now invite Ron's nieces to come forward and light our memorial candles while we join together in reading the affirmation printed in your program. Sometimes our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of the man we celebrate today who lighted a flame within us. Ron believed in taking hold of life, 
of setting a goal and doing everything you could to bring it into reality. His was a life of serious engagement. When he became interested in something, he devoted himself to it 100%. He centered his life on what he could focus on completely, whether it was computers, guitars, or horses. His brother Dave recalls Ron saying at different times, it was one of the happiest moments of my life. Staying up most of the night, sitting at my desk, coding while a storm raged outside. Or I was like a little kid last night, staying up until 2 a.m., just a boy and his guitar playing the blues. When Ron found something that captivated him, it kept his interest fully. And out of this serious guy would come a childlike excitement that he just had to share. When he was in his early 20s, Ron visited Janine and Joe in Carson City, Nevada, and a love of the West and the desert took hold of him, and he was captivated once again. This is how Ron was, how he gave himself completely to life. He visited Nevada and said, I'm moving here. This is where I'm going to live. And he did. He immersed himself in this new world and fell in love with the high desert and the culture and the grand and magnificent mountains. He went for a visit and he became a cowboy. If he was going to live in the West, he was going to do it right. So Ron became a skilled horseman, buying property in Lemon Valley and discovering companionship in Old Charlie. Ron and Charlie, that horse, became partners, riding through the high desert hills, camping and exploring the ancient caves where many had gone before and left their mark. Throughout his time in Nevada, Ron never lost touch with his family and friends, for Ron was extremely loyal and devoted. He loved having people come to visit showing them the adventure of riding horses, sharing the beauty and the grandeur of the West. He wanted those he loved to experience his life. He would bring his whole family out to Nevada, his brothers and their children, because he was also a very doting uncle. He loved kids and he wanted to share with them his excitement over his passions in life. Brianna remembers visiting him and having Ron take her to the rodeo. Again, if you were going to do this, you were going to do this. They couldn't just visit the rodeo. They had to look the part. So Brianna wore the bright red Levi's and the turquoise and red zigzag shirt Uncle Ron had purchased so that she would look like a cowgirl. He introduced them to Trigger and Roy Rogers and Western movies. His great enjoyment made them fall in love with it as well. Now another great love for Ron was, of course, music. Beginning to play guitar in his teens, it became another passion that he gave himself over to completely, even putting a recording studio in the basement of his home. He was incredibly happy that his beloved guitars were going to friends who would continue to play them and keep the music alive. Ron was incredibly generous. He wanted you to know how much he appreciated having you in his life, and he would go out of his way to make you know it. Whether it was a spontaneous invitation to dinner or plane tickets for a trip to his home in Nevada, an unexpected gift just because he was thinking of you, or the gift of his time, he wanted to make the most out of this time you had together. In 2006, Ron's family was coming home. Moving back to the Madison area, he decided that it was time for him to come back as well. His loyalty extended to Charlie, and he made sure that Charlie was well cared for until the end of his life. These last 15 months when Ron became ill were a challenge. But Ron was not going to let this dampen his excitement or his infectious enthusiasm about life. He was a realist and he would say, okay, if this is what is going to happen, then I'm going to do it well. 
He enjoyed the companionship of his family and friends, loved going out to dinner, because he was going to eat well until the very end. He was also going to be busy, making the most out of any time he had left. Even one by one as he lost the things he loved, playing the guitar, working with computers, even losing his taste buds near the end, he still fought to squeeze out every last bit of enjoyment. Because for Ron, life was for the living, fully and completely, which he did with grace, determination, and courage. For Ron, it was indeed not a death, but a completeness, in which memory melted into love and pain into song. Surely we shall miss him and all that he brought into our lives, but we are so much more for his having lived. <clears throat> Let us join now in a moment of meditation and shared silence. Spirit of life, we are gathered here today because of our love for Ron Valenza. Today we celebrate his life and his spirit. Not only who he was, but what his life has meant to each of us and will always mean. Grant that each of us may hold on to a shining moment of memory, that we may carry it in our hearts as a candle, a companion in our darkness and our sadness. In our time of grief, help us to remember the laughter. Help us to hold in our hearts the light that shone in Ron's eyes, the laugh that brought us such joy the love that will always hold us close. May we know in our hearts the truth that what our world needs now is what Ron gave. More kindness, more generosity, and a greater acceptance of all who share with us this miraculous glow of love, laughter, and tears. No tribute, no memorial to a lost loved one is more fitting than this. That we go forth from here alive with the desire to be more of a blessing to the world. I invite you to join me in a moment of silence as we reflect upon the image of the man whom we honor today, who graced our lives and contributed so much to its goodness. And if you will now join me in our responsive reading, printed in your programs, please join me in, in on the outside sections. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, we remember Ron. of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember him. In the rustling of leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember him.
Today we have spoken words of parting and of praise for Ron Valenza, a unique and unrepeatable expression of the human spirit. Ron walked among us with a compassionate heart and a welcoming spirit, and now he belongs to the ages. When so loving a figure has been a part of our experience, life has given a great deal more than death could ever take away. Having commended him to the ages, we recognize with deep reverence a life well lived. Let us be confident that such goodness and love such as his never touch the face of the earth without creating something eternal. Before we close our service, I would like to invite you to stay here in this room for a reception and the continued sharing of stories and memories of Ron's life. We close our service of remembrance with this blessing. In honor of Ron's love of the West, Western novels and movies, it was written in 1947 in a Western by Elliot Arnold. May the sun bring you new energy every day, bringing light into the darkness of your soul. May the moon softly restore you by night, bathing you in the glow of restful sleep and peaceful dreams. May the rain wash away your worries and cleanse the hurt that sits in your heart. May the breeze blow new strength into your being, and may you believe in the courage of yourself. May you walk gently through the world, keeping your loved one with you always, knowing that you are never parted in the beating of your heart. May peace be with Ron, with Janine, Steve, Dave, Mike, all of Ron's family and all those he loved. And may peace be at last with us all. Blessed be and amen. Thank you.